Hello everyone and welcome. Thank you for being here today as we share in the celebration of life and service of love for Harold George Smith. Thank you to those who decorated the space. It looks beautiful. Even the fish look happy to be here, which is wonderful. I think the setting really reflects uh, Harold's life here and all the things he loved. We are assembled here today to pay respects and to honour a much loved father, grandfather, uncle, brother, friend, Harold George Smith, to remember and celebrate his life, a happy life. He had an impact on all of us, so we take this brief time to recognise his passing. He was 78 years old when a heart attack took him from our midst. And if you are here today, I know that you are feeling that loss. You are feeling and remembering Harold's warmth, joy and love. Harold would have wanted us to make very little fuss about, about him. Therefore, we'll just keep our ceremony today simple and sweet. As is a tale, so is life. Not how long it is, but how good it is, is what matters. This is a saying by Lucius Seneca. For those of you who knew Harold, you will never forget the way he made you feel. He had that warmth welcoming smile that radiated peace and comfort and said, I accept and love you for who you are. Irrespective of what you believe or who you follow in the footy, Harold always found a way to connect with people and find common ground or similar interests. Harold's greatest joy was his family, his fishing and his footy. Not sure if it was in that order. He loved following his beloved Williamstown Football Club and always enjoyed a beer and with that a joke. Those of you who were able to be part of these moments are of course saddened that these times are now in the past. But how wonderful to be part of them, to find comfort and happiness in those joyful memories and hold them dearly in our hearts forever. Let's just stop for a moment and remember what was your happiest memory with Harold? Pause for a moment. I have come to know Harold over the past week thanks to his family sharing with me his qualities and strengths. And I think he was a kind of guy I would have really enjoyed hanging out with. I believe Harold would want us to celebrate life and spend time doing the things that we love to do and to be with those that we love to be around. Harold was loved, though it was clear that he missed his beloved wife Marion. He still felt your love that comforted and supported him. Let us carry that love with us today and every day in his memory, in their memory, both Harold and Marion's. For they are once again reunited in love. In our memories, which are held in our hearts, they never die as long as our heart beats. I asked his family to give at least five words to best sum up Harold. Friendly and open, kind, funny, a lover of nature, and humble. Now I'm sure that uh, you could probably add to these words. The soul or spirit sheds its earthly body, just like a tree sheds its leaves and creates for itself another covering for another season, perhaps in another sphere. 
As the tree grows new leaves, the cycle of what we know to be life continues. Death is not the end of existence, but merely the ceasing of the earthly phase of life. This corner of the universe where we turn to reach a perfect, peaceful, spiritual life so that we may dwell in the eternal peace thereafter. At this point, I would like to invite Harold's son, Christian, to read for us. This is a short poem that perfectly captures the way Harold would want us to feel about his passing and his return to the beautiful natural world he loves so deeply. Harold chose this poem and asked his son Christian to read it for us. It's called Do Not Stand at My Grave and Weep by Mary Elizabeth Fry. Thanks Christian. Christian reads poem. Thank you, Christian. As I said, this poem really reflects Harold's sentiment towards life and attitude towards death. He wants us all to live life to the fullest, and I think that's his lasting message to us. Not only would he want us to not to sit too long in the pain of loss, he would want us to appreciate life and spirit in nature and all the things around us that are still living and showing us life. May we learn from Harold's passion for nature and share in the love he experienced and enjoyed each time he was in the outdoors. He was fishing, he was at his footy club, he was with family, all of the times that he was doing the things he loved. May we learn from that beautiful passion that he shared. I now ask Harold's daughter, Tempest, and son, Adrian, to come forth and present the eulogy. So Tempest and Adrian read eulogy. Thank you. Thank you to you both. That was lovely and no doubt Harold enjoyed it too. Music plays Goodbye My Friend by Linda Ronstan. <clears throat> At this time I ask you all to just reflect on Harold's life and what he meant to you as we watch a short presentation of his life in photos. Thank you. Presentation is shown. I have no doubt you all have memories of Harold and the family have asked me to let you know that there is a guest book and they welcome your stories to be written in there. They'd love to read about them. So at the end of the service, uh, please go and add your stories there. Thank you. Before we say a last goodbye to Harold George Smith, the family has also asked me to thank everybody who came today. We'll often think of Harold and remember moments that were shared with him and as your heart fills with love and memories of Harold, a smile will no doubt come across your face. There will be times when you will think about your friendship with him and the way he made you feel about life and ourselves and each other. May his memory fill your hearts to carry a piece of Harold's love with you always, till we meet again. Harold George Smith, we bless your memory with great love for you, for you have written your love upon our hearts. Go your way in peace, and may your memory be a blessing to all who knew you. Harold, your life we honour. Your departure we accept, your memory we cherish. And although there is grief today as we say goodbye, 
there is gratitude for your life. We are truly grateful for the privilege of having shared life with you. But rest now at the end of your days. Rest in the hearts and minds of all those who love you. Because we love you dearly, we shall leave you in peace. It is with loving respect we bid you a fond farewell. Let us all share stories of Harold as we talk to each other, hug and exchange memories. As I said, the family welcomes you to share stories in their guest book. And the family also welcomes you to enjoy a light refreshments in the garden. So thank you once again for coming to honour Harold and his life. Thank you for being a part of his life. And thank you for showing him the love and respect and kindness throughout his life. And now may you share that with his family. So thank you once again. Service ends with music. Alan Jackson, Remember When. Thank you. Thank you.